Wind 200 at 7, visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 22, 2.17, altimeter 2998. ILS runway 16 approach in use, landing and departing runway 16 and runway 24. Advise on initial contact, you have ATIS Quebec. One more time through, I'm recording it, you can practice at home. Chicago Executive Airport, Adis, Quebec, 1452 Zulu weather observation. Wind 200 at 7, visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 22, 2.17, altimeter 2998. ILS runway 16 approach in use, landing and departing runway 16 and runway 24. Advise on initial contact, you have Adis, Quebec. Okay, information come back. You're going to squeeze that button. Just read that again, okay? So go for it. Executive ground, Cessna 6001 Golf at Area 2. Depart to the northwest with ATIS Quebec. And release, good job. Cessna 6001 Golf, Executive Ground, runway 24, taxi via Bravo. Taxi via Bravo to 24 for zero on Golf. Okay, you're going to focus in on your feet now. Let's move this so it's out of the way, turn it sideways or something, because you're not going to write anything down. You're going to focus only on your feet. Hands down on your lap. Just carry right to the clipboard. Great. Release your toes. Let's roll forward. And I want you to tap your toes like that. Okay, we're going to give it left pedal because this thing's kind of rolled off this way. And I just want to keep you out of the grass here. Okay, keeping your feet up on the pedals. You're going to turn to the right here with the right heel. Not, not the toe just yet. Now you'll gently work the right toe. Pencil. There you go. Good. Now release the toe, keep the right heel in there so you can keep turning, and give me left pedal. Left pedal brings you onto the line. Now, if you don't do anything with the feet, it wants to go straight. You're going to turn right onto this next taxiway at the end here, okay? Certainly. This is taxiway Bravo. A little bit of right toe, makes you turn real sharp. Oh, I see. Wow, cool. Left pedal brings you back. I yeah, just got to kind of lead it. That's okay. I'm Straight. not going to let you know on the grass or anything. Yeah. I want you to try to keep it over on the line. So move us over to the line. We're going to stop before that 24. line about 10 feet beforehand, okay? I see it. And try to do it gently. Try to anticipate it so be smooth. This is like driving a boat. Everything's anticipatory. Preparing to stop. Okay, give us a stop right now. Oop. That was a little... That's okay. <laughs> we'll get it straight. I'm going to help you straighten it back out. My airplane. My airplane. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm just going to get you straightened out. So you hit the right one way too hard. That's why you jerked us to the right there. I'm going to try to go both of them evenly and smoothly with the gentle toes. Okay, so you got the toes now? Toes. Great. We're going to do our before takeoff checklist. Engine. Uh, we're going to leave our windows open because it's warm outside. We'll get those a little later. Flight controls. Put your left hand on the yoke and roll all the way to the left. And all the way to the right. Okay, keeping it straight in the middle. Two fingers and a thumb. Light touch. Bring it back into your lap for me, okay? All the way back. And forward. Left pedal forward now. Right pedal forward. Good. And hold those brakes good. So the flight controls are good. Now we're going to make sure the engine's running okay. So, the way we move the throttle is you have your hand here and your finger here. So you'd be looking like this, okay? Ease this up to 1,700 RPMs now. So you're going to push this forward to 1,700 RPMs. Okay, so now with your left hand on the ignition key over there, okay, take the key and move it over to the R position. To the left, two clicks. One more click. There you go. That's the right ignition source. You'll learn about that in the next day, next lesson. And you see it's nice and smooth. Come back to both. Two clicks back to the right. Good click. Good. Give me one click to the left now to the other ignition source. All right, that's nice and smooth. And come back to both. All right, that's running really good. The suction's good. We got fuel. We got three quarters of a tank, full good. sides. Good. Pressure's good. Temperature's coming up. Good. We'll send a little warm air into the carburetor, and again, that's the next lesson. We'll, but you're going to see a drop in RPMs, two one thousand, three one thousand. Push this back in now. That sends. That's an alternate bypass. Sends warmer into the engine. Okay, so there's no ice in there. Four at eighteen hundred. And we're charging. RPMs are lower a little bit. Yeah. 
and now you're going to pull the power back all the way to idle, as low as it'll go, all the way back towards you, and then, once it idles, then you're going to go up to a thousand, so all the way back. One moment, please, I don't want it too fast. And now up to a thousand. Yep, engine's running great. Okay, um, we're going to set that to tower, twist this to ALT, that's how our altitude shows up on radar. Alright. Why is this changing? Very good. That's the temperature gauge of the engine. Okay. Let's turn on a light so they can see us outside, like the landing light. Like a motorcycle, we have lights on, you know, for safety. Okay. Alright, very cool. Now, the way the takeoff's going to work is we're going to pull out onto the runway, we're going to go all the way to the end. We're going to use the full turnaround. I will have the feed for takeoff. Because if you hit the wrong pedal, we'll be off the runway too quick, okay? So until you get more comfortable with the feet. Okay. Your left hand will be on the yoke, your right hand will be here. We'll have the power pushed all the way full throttle, okay? Power going in to give me more power. It'll be all the way forward, yes. And then we're going to make sure everything's in the green. Power, then we're going to release the brakes. Uh, we're going to lift the nose around 55 miles per hour. We're going to climb out 70 to 80, about 75, okay? I will be walking you through this all the way, step by step by step, so you don't have to worry about that at all. Now, can you hear me okay, because this is adjustable if you need me louder. I hear you okay. Can okay. you hear me okay? I got you. Let's close our windows up. Certainly. Chicago Executive, uh, Trauma 2 is uh, over Lake On your next lesson, I'm going to have you call the tower for takeoff clearance. This one, you're going to focus on your feet. Okay. Just, you're going to be taxiing, you're going to use that full thing. Chop 2, crude altimeters, uh, 2, 9 or 9 or 8, let me know if you need a frequency change. 2990, we'll call you for the frequency change, Trauma 2. We were, we're waiting for Tower to give us permission. I'm waiting for them to stop talking, yeah. Then I'm going to make a broadcast. Executive Tower, Cessna 6001 Golf. Holding short of runway 24, ready for takeoff. Cessna 01 Golf, stand by. He says stand by, you just stand by. You don't sure. Don't say anything back, just sit here. We're going anywhere. They're busy talking. A lot of stuff you gotta know. A lot of stuff. I'm cleared for takeoff. Right to the northwest, uh, zero and go clear for takeoff. Okay, so I want you to release your toes. Toes released. And you're gonna steer straight ahead now. In Chicago, we're at 4973 Fox, we're still with you. We'll be coming back for, uh, in a little bit. Now we've got a big turnaround area to use down here, okay? Yes. Once we get down at the end, you're actually going to come a little to the right and around now. Here's to do it. You go gentle on the toes now, just slow down a little bit, okay? Target six, six. Gentle. Okay, uh, release. Now left pedal. Via kilo little left toe. Ooh, gentle, gentle, gentle. That was locking us up, okay? you got to go a lot softer on those things. They're very, very, very responsive. Okay, the feet are mine. Take your feet completely off the pedals. Off the pedals. Okay. You're going to put your left hand there. Cap to five lane okay, powers all the way up. Keep your right hand here. Everything's in the green. We're looking good. Feet off the pedals. Feet are off the pedals totally. Do me a favor and just put two fingers on the control. And put your, one, put your finger there. That's just my window. Don't worry about that. Okay, so we're coming up on 55. Okay, and with your left hand, you're just going to pull back gently. Now, left five, hand, six, yeah. Six, turn right on runway there you go. Four, okay, you're off the ground now. Just three zero. Okay, my airplane, let go. Three four. Just check this out. This little trim go wheel. Five, I'm just going to roll this, and it's going to set our trim Roger. for the speed we want to climb back. Yes. Okay, so just put one finger here. Yes. And put two and three fingers here. Now your feet can touch the pedals, but they don't need to be up on the brakes. Yes. Your heels can be resting on the ground. Yes. Don't pull back or anything, let the plane do all the work. Okay. Trauma 2 traffic, uh, off These the little bumps like this, no big deal. This is just Mother Nature messing with you a little bit, okay? I hate Mother I'm Nature. Too, Roger, <laughs> we'll She's a bitch. She is. Alright, but you're looking really good. So now when the altitude gets to 1100 feet, you're yeah. going to give us a gentle right turn. That's just a gentle right foot and a little bit of hand. Okay? okay. Yes, sir. Right, you're, we're close enough. Go ahead and give it a try. A little bit of right turn, right touch. The less you fly this thing, the easier it is to fly. This is 6001 Golf Traffic, 11 o'clock, 3 miles southeast, bound helicopter, altitude to Cape 1800. Hold the nose up a little bit. Zero one Golf, looking. Okay, stop the turn. This is good on the head. Coming to that traffic side. Good heading, yes, sir. Three yeah, miles northwest, bound 1800. 80 miles per hour. Want one hand here, keeping the power in. Your left hand, you shouldn't have to be doing that to anything at all. More power. 
power's all the way full, so there's nothing for you to do except to keep it in there. Just make sure it doesn't come back at you. Why won't it? Why will it pop out? Uh, vibration. And there's no way to lock it in. Uh, yeah, but you don't want to trust those kind of things. All right. So you're on golf is traffic. Come to opposite direction as you. Your hand right. should always be on the throttle. Okay. Also, if there was an engine problem or something, you know right where your hand is, then you could get to the other engine controls if you needed them. Are you playing with the feet? Okay. So I'm not doing anything with the feet. Okay. Okay, you just put two fingers on the controls, though. You're gripping that with it too hard. Okay, actually, you just let go for just a second. Just let the plane do its thing. Yeah, traffic, uh, it just wants able. to fly. In fact, you can just put one, put one finger on this. Have Look how my hand is. Yeah, just Stop one finger. You can just fly with one hand. My touch. Those little bumps, no big deal. We'll get a little higher, they'll actually go away. 70 miles an hour. The altitude yeah. is about 1,600 feet. Okay, we're going to just keep on climbing up here like this. We're going to go up to about 2,500 feet, okay? 2,500. We're going to see what those clouds allow us to do, too, because they're a little bit lower. Just relax, roll your shoulders, look around outside, look over traffic. I detect no traffic. Okay, we, uh, if we take a look inside, we can see all our instruments are in the green. And just looking around outside, really. Not much to do. Let the plane do all the work. The heading is just about 300 degrees, which is perfect. Right, the heading we want to be. Okay. 70 miles an hour. Altitude closing in a few thousand feet. A level off of two and high 2500. Yeah, and I think what we're going to do, based on these clouds, yeah. is I want you to practice a level off now. So you're going to push forward, let the plane accelerate. You're going to hold the nose forward as it as it tries to go up. This is a good pitch attitude. So we like to see this much ground. Do you feel the nose trying to come up on you? Yes. Okay, we'll keep it forward. Gentle pressure, steady pressure, please. There you go. Now we accelerate up to about 90, yes? Yes. So with the right hand, take your power back. Both the left hand stays forward, though. you got to hold the pressure, sir. Hold the, hold the left hand forward, please. Hold the left hand forward. One, hand, one thing at a time. So left hand just holds that forward pressure. Then you bring your right hand back. So you got to multitask. All right, so i got to pull the throttle back. Uh-huh. Keeping the left hand forward. Pull the power back, go for it. I'm pulling it, I don't want to pull too much. Nope, you're going to have to keep pulling. you got to go a lot faster than that, sir. If you go too much, it's no big deal, we'll just push forward. Okay. you got to learn what's too much and what's not enough. Are you doing okay? Not worried about your breaking anything, absolutely. Keeping the nose forward a little bit, just like that. Now, let's go ahead, and if you let go of the plane, what's it do? Oh, but it's only enough to go off, I think, right? We're going to find out. Oh, it's doing nothing. Well, it's actually pretty steady, isn't it? I don't have the trim tab or anything? Well, let's see. You have to, it's a boat, so there's a delayed reaction. Try to go up a little bit. Maybe it's just here. 242 Mike Alpha, yeah. executive. I say just ground. leave it be for Fancy now. V Your right hand is now done. Delta Yankee Lima, cross 1 2, hold short 1 2. Alright, so now. You're going to be playing with the flight controls. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something first, then you're going to do it. Okay. okay, so. My airplane? Yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the toes. Here's the left toe, here's the right toe. I'm not doing it hard, okay? Now you do that. Left toe on the bottom of the, of the, of the pedals. Correct. Left toe, right toe. See, not too hard. You can left see toe. it's very reactive, yes? Right toe. One more, one, more, one moment, please. Left toe, oops, right toe. Right toe, right toe. Why is not moving? There we go, right toe. Left toe. Right toe. Okay. My feet are off. All right, great. My airplane. Yes, sir. So now with the hand. Let's try doing that. Go for it. To the left, to the right. To the left, to the right. To the left, to the right. Okay. Okay, now. Oh, very gently. Here to my Forward and backwards. One, six, eight, very reactive. Left hand over, please. Three and, uh, to if you use two hands, you're going to overdrive us like crazy. Super responsive, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so now you learn. We want to be right here. Oops, well maybe a little bit, uh... Yeah, we're okay. Although, yeah, 80 miles an hour. We're okay. We're doing good. Altitude 2200. Most roads are north, south, east, west. The same are farmer's fields in Illinois. So why don't you follow this road to the west? This arcing road or this guy? Nope, the road that goes directly here to the west. Right off to the left. Left hand only, please. Right hand's not going to do a darn thing. 
Oops, too much, too much. Too much, too much, too much. Too much, much, too much, too much. Uh, Whoa! Uh, seven miles. East, inbound for landing, crest in uh, two four. Oh, oh. It's a lot easier to do those well, turns if you use your feet eight, as well. One east, when you roll to the left, use the left pedal. When you roll right, to the right, use the right left pedal. Left one, six, okay, so we're going to do another turn in just a minute here. I want to pick out a road yes. that goes off to the north, which is directly off your right wing. Lift the right wing up a little bit. Make sure nobody's there. Yes. See you out that way? Yes. Okay, now a little bit of right pedal and roll to the right, just gentle. Pull back just a little bit on the controls. Okay, there goes an airplane out there on the horizon. There's no factor. Pull back a little bit on the controls. There you go. Good. When you roll back to left, a little left pedal, roll left. There you go. Good. Now you get the hang of things, yeah? I see the water tower straight ahead. That's a good aim point. Excellent. We like our external references. Pitching a little bit. Yeah, you guys got to be make smaller movements, little baby movements. Okay. Is the plane, if you let go of it, what does it want to do? Up. It wants to go up. Okay, so we're going to roll the trim wheel a little bit. This way into which his nose down. Now, what's it going to go? Let's go on, let go. Should be steady. Well, I don't know if it'll, it will be steady or not. It's always a little trial and error. Okay. okay. That's not bad. Okay. Now we're going to try another turn. To the left again. Oh, now you actually have to control it. Oh, you need just one hand though. Every time you grab with two hands, you see how aggressive it is? Yes. Yeah, don't do that. You want to keep it light touch, small movements, okay? Yes. All right, look off your left wing. Yes. And we're going to turn to the left, which is to the west, okay? Yes. Okay, Four. now. Go ahead, yeah. A little left pedal, just gentle. There you go. That's deep enough in the bank. That'll be just fine. One six taxi via Lima. I'm not moving my, 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 um, this guy. What do you call this guy? The yoke? Yes, the yoke. I'm not moving really the yoke. You don't need to move it very much at all. It really kind of takes care of itself, doesn't it? Yes. When you roll back to the right, use a little hand and a little feet. Right. I don't see anything on the horizon. I think we're okay. We're heading, uh, almost due west. Very good. Try another turn to the north. One moment, please. Trying to uh, pick up, pick a spot. Let's say, okay, why not? Why not right now? Cares. Six one Delta Tango, executive ground runway one six, taxi V Kilo, and say direction V. If it was off a little bit, you're kind of pushing forward for some reason there. There you go. Uh, Roger. Oh, I got it here. Six one Delta Tango. Sorry about that. And a one six V Kilo. I like that road over there. Should we go parallel it? Sure. Yes, sir. One six B kilo. Eighty five miles an hour, twenty two hundred feet. I'm going to straighten the plane now so we follow that road for a while. One right. moment, please. Let me just get a little bit closer. And start and straight. Dog Reserve, Fort Worth, Seventy Fox, uh, two east for one six. Okay. 45 November Sears, yeah, maybe a little bit more. Good, that's it. All right, what airspeed are you at? My airspeed well, is three, five, 90. Uh, Whoops. Only because uh, you were just pushing forward. Remember, one six quit away. Like all the oak. You're over a little bit. Citation 45 November Sierra, men out to the Alright, so what's the speed at now? Zero four zero within a mile of the departure. All right, so now if we push the power all the way in, the airspeed is going to climb at is going to be about 90 plus or minus 5. Okay? Don't pull back or anything. Let the plane just do all the work. Ready? Okay. Just keep one finger here on the throttle. Oh, you want to get us to 2,500 feet up? I want you to, I'm trying to demonstrate your controlled airspeed now. Since we trimmed it for about 90, okay, the plane is going to be about 90 plus or minus, you know, minus about uh, 5 to 10, okay? My airspeed is around to 75. It, it's going to stabilize here in a second as you're climbing. Don't pull back or anything. Letting the plane do all the work here. 80, closer to 80 now. Good. Altitude going to 2350. Nobody in the skies. Yeah, you don't have to tell me all that, okay? Okay, sorry That's about too that. Much, too much chatter. Sorry. Okay, when we get to 2,500 feet, all I want you to do is take the power back to 2,300 RPMs. 
right, here comes the altitude, and just pull the power back to about 2300 RPMs where you had it before, okay? Pulling throttle back. Yep, you gotta do it quicker though. You won't break it. There we go. Now, okay, that's just a smidge though, so I'm just gonna add just a little bit. Alright, so now, it's gonna resume its speed where it was before. Now I'm gonna try a descent. Take the power and pull it back to 2000 RPMs. Approximately. Doesn't really matter. Now, let the plane descend. Initially, it's going to, and you can keep your hand on the power. Um, initially, it's going to try to go faster than 90. It's going to go between 90 to 100, okay? And we're descending, and we're going to go down to like 2,000. Let's see if you let go of the yoke, what's the plane do? Just, it will stabilize between That's 90 right. to 100. Check Just, it out. Because we trimmed it. We trimmed it for 90. Look at the speed, isn't that amazing? The thing is balanced. Right, between 90 and 100, perfect, yeah? When you get to 2,000, put your power back to 23, 2,400 RPMs, okay? Beat it. Actually, start adding the power now. There you go, that's fine in the power. Pull back just a smidge, and it's gonna go back to 98. That's how you climb and descend, and you don't have to do very much. You roll your shoulders, relax, let the plane do all the work. It's like driving on the expressway, you don't overdrive everything, right? You go light touch, let the plane do it, let the car do it. Alright, let's try a left turn to west for me, okay? Lift the left wing up for me, to make sure nobody's there. Okay, go for it. That's steep enough in the bank angle, this will be just fine, and you can tell we're going about a 20 degree angle of bank here. Pull the nose up just a little bit. Okay, just pick up this road. Actually, no, that road's not a very good west. Try to pick up a farmer's field, just parallel. You go right to west. Don't get on the road, just go right next to it here. And look out on the horizon, pick something out. There. Now you're pushing forward, we don't want to do that. We want to keep the doors up a little bit. There. It's going to be at 2,000 feet, so just kind of pop us up to 2,000, okay? South? Sure, why not? Okay, lift that left wing, make sure nobody's to the left. Then give us a left turn to south. And just to read it back to me, left turn south. So I know that you heard me, okay? Yes, we're going to south, sir. Good. Just like air traffic control, you always read back your headings and altitudes. 2,000 feet. Banking left to the south. 80 miles an hour. Pull back, look what happened to your altitude. Climbed a whole bunch, didn't we? Okay, we're gonna climb up to 2,500 feet, so go to full power and climb on up. Full, full power on your mark. You want full power now? Uh, I'd like you to climb at 2,500 feet, yes. You shouldn't need to pull back, because that's gonna make us climb real steep. We just wanna let the power do all the work. Nice, easy cruise climb, okay? All you should focus in on is trying to head us more towards the south. Like, uh, just pick something on the horizon. I don't know, that water tower, do you see that way out there? The pond? No, there's a water tower, it's a white one, it's straight ahead of us. Uh, further out there. Oh, I see it, yes, I yeah. see it. It'd be good if you have some kind of polarized sunglasses to cut the glare and the haze. Okay. It's a good safety uh, item. Keep the nose up a little bit there. You shouldn't be pushing forward. The plane should do all the work. I'm gonna push the throttle in further. If it's not all the way in, it should be. It's all the way in. Okay. Well, that's what, yeah, we're doing full power climb. Twenty five hundred feet. Right. Level off. Yep. And you're going to Try to accelerate. Pull, pull the power back. Pull the power. And uh, if necessary, trim, but I think you have it pretty well trimmed. Just get the power back. That's, you want to hold it a little bit more stable. You're kind of overdriving us there. Two fingers. 
Back, if you rest your hand on your knee like this, just drive it a little bit gentler like this, you'll be in better shape, okay? Pull that power right back though, see how it wants to go up on you. Pull the power back. There you go. Keep the nose right by the horizon. Using power. At 2500. Uh, your power should be about 2300 RPMs. Reducing. Why are you pushing forward? Your right hand. I'm pushing forward. You, you, you shouldn't be. We should be pulling the power back to 2300. My apologies. That's okay. Wrong way. That's all right. Everybody pushes and pulls and lefts and rights. <laughs> Better. Okay, what's your altitude? 27, 2650. All right, let's fix that. Just push over with the nose a little bit. Take us down. Yeah, just a small fix. That'd be great. So the flaps increase the lift on the wings. So when we put the flaps down, the nose of the airplane is going to try to pop up on you. Don't let it. Okay? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to add some flaps. I'm going to push this lever down. You're going to see a flap meter over on the left side go down to 10 degrees. And you're going to feel the nose try to go up. I'm just be gentle with the controls. Just kind of counteract that. You ready? Yes. Okay, here comes some flaps. Cool, huh? It wants to climb, doesn't it? Yes, I felt that. All right, great. Let's pull the carburetor heat. That pulls about three inches out. And let's take the power back to about 1,900 RPMs, 1,900. Oh, that's okay. You're fine. Just have me smoother on the nose. Hold it, hold it a little more steady. Now the nose is going to need to be higher as we slow down in order to hold altitude. So you want the nose more like this. Make small, gentle movements. Lighter, lighter touch on the controls. Just light touch. Okay? So we're going to have to actually hold the nose a little higher. Look at our airspeed. We're slower now, right? Yes. The slower you go, in order to create lift, you would have the nose up to get faster, a higher angle of attack, okay? Right. And you're going to actually hold it up here. I want you to trim for the new airspeed. Wrong way. There you go. Trim the nose up by rolling the wheel down. All right. Does the nose want to stay up on you? It's flat. Okay. Uh, a little bit. Okay. We're hanging up on the power then when you're ready. More power? Nope. Less power. Just want to keep it there. Nope, don't change anything. Sorry. Be. That's okay. I just want you to get the feel now. The airplane's going to feel very mushy in the controls. Just keep your hand on the power. No trimming for you. Now, my airplane? Yes, sir. Okay. Look at, look at how sloppy this is. Now you do that. Just take the yoke and see, it doesn't really respond. Right? Yes. As compared to when you first did it on our flight out here, it was very responsive. Same with the feet. The feet are still pretty responsive, but feel how mushy they are. Go for it. Play with the feet. Still a little mushy, right? Yes. Now forward and backwards very responsive still, because that elevator's big. But it's still a little mushier. Yes. Yeah? All right, so now using our new uh, mushy flight controls, we're going to do a left turn around the east, but you got to lift the left wing first. Nobody's there. Okay, give us a left turn around to east. Basically towards Lake Michigan. That's steep enough on the angle of the bank. Let the plane do the work. It's a you know, you're in the turn, so you don't want to be on the rudder. Let the plane do the work when it's established in the turn. Good, keeping the nose up, everything's great. So just keep us coming around, we're going to follow that road back to the left there. That's east, okay? Yep, keeping the nose up, that's great. So you pushed it forward and we lost the altitude rule. No, don't push forward, you have to leave the nose up. Are you pushing forward? No, sir. Good, just hold it up there, just keep it up like that. Good, keep it coming all the way around towards that road. Too much left rudder now. Right, right rudder on. Roll out there. Okay, we should be okay. Almost east. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I know. I'm just looking outside from a reference standpoint. You can see like Michigan out on the horizon. 
Alright, now we're going to accelerate the airplane. Now when we do that, power goes in first. I'm down at 50 miles an hour. I don't like yeah. that. Yeah, that's okay. We're, we're supposed to be flying slow here. You're not going to stall or anything like that. We're going to accelerate the airplane now. No, you're overdriving. You're getting, you're getting the yoke too, too much there. Okay, so all you're going to do is you're going to push the power forward and then the car beat forward. And the plane's going to try to go up. Don't let it. So push the power in now. Left hand release. Left hand release. You, there you go. Left hand now push forward gently. Left hand pushes forward gently. Okay, car beat in. Keep pushing the your right hand on the throttle there. With your left hand now you're going to push forward. I want you to hold the altitude. You're going to feel the pressure. You feel all sorts of pressure because you have it trimmed for the slow speed, yes? Yes. And we have flaps down. Keeping the nose forward. I'm going to get rid of the flaps. Here they go. You're going to feel the nose pressure go away a little bit. Feel like go away? Yeah? Hold the pressure consistent though. You're bouncing us. Just hold it gently and, and steady. So you're, if you're fighting me, I'm grabbing the yoke now. If you're fighting the controls, see how smooth this should be? Hold it steady just like that. Left hand. Now with your right hand, retrim to get rid of the pressure that you're feeling. Okay, left hand pushes forward. Yeah, roll, roll that trim down. Good. Gets rid of the pressure, yeah? Good. Keeping the nose forward. Left hand pushes forward. we got to get back to cruise. Reset your power now because the speed is good. So speed is about 90. Set your power back to about 23 or 2400 RPMs and retrim. And you're good to go. Hand holds the nose forward though, you gotta hold the pressure down. Remember, it's holding the nose constant, then trim. When you watch the tape, you'll get that scenario or they get those steps down. Alright, let's try a right turn, gentle right hand turn to south for me, okay? Lift that right wing for me. Good. Don't need too much rudder, just a little when you roll into the turn. When an airplane is established in the turn, you don't need any rudder at all. See how that nose dropped on you? There you go. Why does the nose drop when you go into a turn? Because the lift is no longer acting straight up, it's also acting sideways. It's called the horizontal component of lift. So when you go into banks, you got to pull back just a little bit. Not too much. Now, what's the, how's the plane flying by itself? Is it flying pretty good? Yeah, you're going to have a little turbulence, but that's okay. Good. Let's get this nose down just a smidge more, and I think you're going to be great. How are you feeling? Fine. Good. You're doing a good job. You're really getting the hang of things. Let's try a right 300... Whoop, don't pull back. Yeah, that nose popped up on you? Yep. I want you to hold this altitude, and I'm going to roll the trim just a little more down. We're going to do a right 360 all the way back around. All the way back around towards this road, okay? Lift the right wing up. Nobody's there. Give us a right turn all the way around. Not too much. Now you want to be... You're in the turn, so get off the rudder. Rudder is only used when you enter the turns or leaving the turns. Those are the only times you're changing the lift. When you change the lift, you cause the induced drag, you change the rudder. Okay? So, so when you're in the turn, the plane is stable. We're just going to keep turning. Yeah, you're just going to keep turning. You don't need any rudder or anything. You, just, you can go a little steeper on the angle. That's cool. I'm going to let it bank over a little bit more. It won't roll over on you. Don't worry about that. So this is about a... 5 to 10 degree of bank. Let's go steeper. Let's double it up. That's a little too much yaw. Just the hands. Pencil. Let's go steeper. Go ahead. Let it, let it roll over here. Now you may have to hold the bank in there just a little bit. And a little bit of back pressure. If the other nose tries to drop on you, you may have to pull back a little bit. But don't let it counter... Yeah, there you go. Don't let it roll out of its turn. You've got to kind of keep it in the turn. It has a natural tendency to want to straighten itself out if you let go. We don't want it. We want to keep it going, right? That natural wing leveling technique is called is done by design, and it's it's um, it's called dihedral. It's built into the airplane. That yes. way, correct. That way. That is your road. You are correct. This, How nice this turn was. This, this road or that road? Uh, Straight ahead. Right about there. Good enough. Very nice. Right at 2500. Very nice on the altitude, yeah? Yes. 
I want you to do it to the left. Look to the left first. Always lift the wing. Do it to the left. Now, I'm not going to say anything, but let's see how you do. In fact, why don't you make corrective action. There you go. I'm not really going to do much. The, uh, I, my feet are off the pedals because this thing is going to do its thing. Trying to keep the nose straight. The altitude looks okay. The airspeed looks okay. I want this thing to do its thing. Good, let's turn a little steeper. A little pressure on the left pedal. A little bit. Keeping this thing straight, 2,500 feet. As we need to get. The nose steady, 2450, lost a little altitude. 80 miles an hour. Very nice. Letting it do its thing, letting it do its thing. Wow, this is fantastic. Look at this. Be acquiring my, my landmark that way. Is that correct? You're driving. What do you think? South. Not bad, huh? Settling off one moment, please. Lost a little altitude. You want to regain it? Fine. All right, looks great. Good job. Approaching use, planning front of one six and two four. Position use contact you made information in Romeo. Chicago executive. Don't let the nose drop that much. You're going to have to send back down. Just to use the power back. One zero sky clear below one two thousand. Temperature two three dew point one seven. Altimeter two nine or nine or eight. High left runway one six. Approaching use, planning front of one six and two four. Position use contact you made information in Romeo. Coming up over the V O R. Okay, looking for the Pilatus, uh, zero one right. Okay, so, now his directions were keep our speed up, which is just keep cruising in. Starfish 22, and we're looking for an airplane. Safe flight, see you. The airplane's we'll going to be off your left wing, somewhere. As we get closer, we may actually see it. Right now I don't see it yet. It's called a Pilatus. A Pilatus is a single engine. Airplane. It's got a jet engine that runns a uh, propeller, so it's a turboprop. All you got to do is keep flying it straight ahead. Now the airport is off your nose. Just south of uh, I see the runway three four, and then you're uh, just going to keep heading that direction. Navigation now. Okay. No problem. Plane should be pretty trimmed up. Thank you. Shouldn't be doing much of anything. Okay. Zero one Golf JF traffic uh, just off your left side, two miles east of you, two thousand and uh, descending. Traffic is for zero one Golf. Zero one Golf, keep your speed up. You're number two. Follow that traffic. One six clear. Uh, clear for the option. Wind two two zero. One one gust. One six. Traffic citation about twelve north of the field uh, to follow you. Okay, we're number two. We're clear for the option, and uh, we're just going to do a low approach on the first one, then fly the pattern, and then full stop. Roger. Okay. So now, I space your uh, you're heading because traffic out of view will be full stop. Zero one Golf. Roger. Okay, go to the black buildings there. Do you see the two black buildings? That's the corner of Lake Cook and Milwaukee Avenue. Right? You can actually see an airplane just to the left of those buildings. Yes, I see it. I see it. That was the traffic that we were looking for, okay? Yes. For now, you're going to fly to the black buildings. When we get near the black buildings, we'll do a right-hand turn to a final approach for runway 16. Okay, so for now, you just keep flying this heading. I'd like to take the power back to about 2,200 RPMs and to send us down to 1,650 feet. We'll pull the power back to about 2,200 and let the nose drop a little bit. And you're going to take us down to 1,650 feet. Exactly. numbers now. Zero golf right here. Okay, he wants us actually now to change our plans and aims towards the airport. He's squeezing us in behind this one and in front of a jet. 
This is a good heading right now. Do you see the white building in the horizon? Um, that's the CVS Caremark building. That right. building over there. Not that one to the left. Right off your nose. Yes, I see it. Good. You're aiming right at it. This is great. So, uh, again, the heading about 120 is just fine, okay? Yes, sir. Yeah, when we come into the traffic Victor pattern, Vector, Vector, Pop, Executive we're going to use about 2100 RPM. So why don't you pull the power to 21? 2100. Control the nose up. Nose down. With you on the ILS 16. Now, Victor, Pop, I want you to pull the carburetor to heat. Speed as much as possible. Your number two found a citation about a two mile final. Yeah, towards those white buildings. Roger, oh. reducing speed as much as possible. And power back to 17. 1,700. Power back to what? 1,700. Victor, Bravo. This guy? Victor, yes. Let's turn left at Echo Kilo to parking with me. Echo Kilo with you. Victor, there, you keep the nose up gently. Now you're gripping the yoke kind of tight there, lighter touch. And I'm going to give you 10 degrees of flaps. You ready? Yes, sir. Don't, yeah, don't let the nose pop on you. There you go. Right hand stays on the power. Just two fingers. Rest your hand on your neck, leg even. Left hand, just light touch. See, the plane wants to do all the work here. All you got to do is just kind of guide it with two fingers towards the runway. Center at the center line? Yeah, we're moseying over that way. So as soon as we get there, you're going to turn right to line up on the runway. See it? Good. Pull lights. back just a little bit there. Great. German Golf is uh is that the fastest uh speed you can go? Uh from lined up, four lined up. Or not. That's fine. And your own golf will go around now. Okay, full throttle. German golf roger. Kirby oh, forward. Yep. Full throttle and Kirby down. Nine four Victor Pop, you're now runway you're now number one. Runway the nose one up. Six, right hand on the land. power, please. One, six, you should not see the nose, we want the nose up for climbing, okay? Yes. All right, we're going to climb at about 75, so we got to push forward a little bit, okay? And I'm going to raise the flaps here. You're going to feel the flaps go up. Just a 6001 Golf, are you able to uh, start early the uh, runway. crosswind or right crosswind? Right turn, uh, zero one Golf. Forward. Okay, give me a right turn now. You're gripping the yoke way too tight. Give me a right turn now to about 240, okay? Keep the nose up. There, good job. You're going to keep the nose up. We want to climb, though. Should not be able to see over the nose right now. That nose needs to be nice and high. Just like we were doing out there, climbing turns. Okay, so now here comes 240. Stop the turn, keep the nose up. We want to keep climbing. Good, let the plane do all the work. You shouldn't have to do much anything right now. We're going to go back up to 1650. When you get there, you're going to gently lower the nose and pull the power to 21, okay? Yeah, keep the nose up. Zero one golf, you're going to be number two, follow citation, half mile final. And uh, runway one six, you're clear to land. Okay, traffic site, clear to land, runway one six, you're welcome. Okay, it's a right turn now. And turn right and follow along this, next to these railroad tracks. Not on top of them, put this next to them. Okay, pull the power to 21. That's a six seven zero, you're just about clear to land. Just, just a little there. bit, there you don't push forward. That's crew Chicago, there you one go. two zero point five five. There you go, great. That's perfect. Gentle, 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 light touch. All right, so now we're just paralleling the tracks. There's an airplane off our right. He's landing. That's cool. So now we're going to pull the car beat and the power back to 17 again. Give yourself 10 degrees of flaps this time. So this is the nut lever. Pull that down until the one, one zero shows up there. Good. Keep the nose forward now. We're going to start descending, okay? So don't pull back. Do not pull back, let the nose drop. Four Victor Pop, uh, you going to Atlantic? Light touch. Uh, negative, going to Priester. Priester, roger. Right I'll turn, make follow turn this right road right next to it. Me. Okay, so you can do a gentle Three right zero, turn. And then uh, Lima. Pull back just a little bit there. Victor Perfect. Pop. Light touch. Everything, the plane just kind of takes care of itself. You're just management now, okay? Just light management. They're just going to kind of parallel this way. Look at your runway now. Do you see it out there? Yes. Good. Your next turn is going to be towards it. And we are going down and we are landing this time, okay? Okay. So just like last time, let's try to keep it centered up, okay? You're doing great. Traffic pattern is very busy. When you go back and watch this with this traffic pattern diagram for you, it's going to be very helpful. We're going down the center line, right? Yes, sir. Nice job. I need the power back to 17. Raise the nose a little bit there. Pull the power back a little bit more. Okay. 
wind is going to try to blow you, so you're going to angle it a little bit to the right. Don't force the nose down. It wants to just fly its own pitch attitude down. There you go. Just, just like, let the plane do all the work here. Two fingers. Hey, look at this. Light touch. Let the plane do everything. I'll take over when you get close to the ground. But you're doing fantastic right now. Okay? Just keep it lined up. Now, you notice we are pushed, we're angled to the right purposely because of the crab angle. So when I land it, you're going to see me use a little left pedal to straighten us. We're not doing it yet. Just kind of I'm helping you guide it, okay? Just let it guide down, okay? You're under control now? By the plane, yeah. Uh huh. All I'm going to do here is I'm going left pedal. Yes. That straightens us out. One six take to be kilo. Gentle. And you said, I'm sorry, okay. you said you had yes. Romeo? And I got two fingers. See, I'm just working the bumps a little bit. No worries. I'm going to take the power back now. About 1,200 or so. Plane comes down. I'm pulling back gently. I'm just kind of see. I'm look at this view. It's going to go down. I'm going to pull back. Look at how gentle I am. Wow. Okay. Wow. And the nose is not touched yet. And feel the weight here. You take the oak. Take the oak for a second. Feel the weight. Feel that? Yes. That's how much weight I had in there. That's what it's going to feel like. One area two for zero and go. That's what it's going to feel like when you do your landing on Monday. Golf. Echo cross two four. Bravo to Parker with me. Echo cross two four. Bravo with you as zero and go. Okay, now you take the feet, okay? Yes. Hands down. It's all about the feet now. What about the power? I'm controlling that. You're going to focus only on your feet. You see this next yellow line? Yes. I want oh. you to slow us down. Gentle brakes. Oh, even even gentle brakes. Go for it. More, harder brakes. No, no brakes. we got to slow down before you turn. Now left turn. Sharper left. Upper left, you got to get in that left toe a little bit. Here, I don't think you're quite up on the brake there. There you go. Okay, so you're going to go straight ahead now, nice and easy. Just try to keep us not looking at the line, look down the line. Of drifting a boat. You ever drive a boat? No. Okay, well, that's the best reference you can tell you because it's such a delayed reaction. Actually, you can taxi an airplane, you'll be able to drive a boat, no problem. <laughs> Okay, here comes the runway. Clear left, clear right. We are cleared to cross. We're going left. Not on this runway. You need to stay on the line. We're always going to stay on the yellow lines. We are going to take the next left yellow line. That's Taxiway Bravo. This guy. Correct. Do your best to try not to cut the corner. Try to stay on the line as best you can, okay? Yep, cut the corner a little bit, it's okay. Executive Tower 714 Uniform Foxtrot, over a month in line at 2000. Uh, 2000 inbound for landing with information. Very nice. 714 Uniform Foxtrot, Executive Tower reports three miles. You're going to go all the way there. down, it dog legs a little left, and then you're going to hang a right and follow the fence. Executive Tower, Lakeshore, 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 yeah, lots of stuff going on. Executive uh, Tower Lakefront 33, ready for takeoff. Getting ready for a sharp turn. Lakefront 33. Yeah, so we got to slow it down with the toes. Short of 1-6. Let's slow down. No, no, don't turn. Both pedals slow us down. Brakes. That's better. Good. That's a good speed. Now left. Oh, wow. That's so weird. Now you see, so you're getting the hang of it. Turn left heading 0 4 0 Don't go on the grass. Don't go on the grass. you got to turn. I will. No, no, you, you have a left wheel. <laughs> you're forgetting about the left wheel there. All right, now you're going to stay on the line. Always on the line. Up, you need the left pedal, sir. That's the wrong left. You have the wrong pedal push. You need the left pedal to be on the line. There you go. You push please, the right please take control of the line. Yeah, I got it. That's okay. And now right pedal. Over right toe. Yeah, just kind of be gentler. It's okay, you're going to get the hang of this. Like I said, we do a whole hour driving this stupid thing. I mean, this is more difficult than flying. <laughs> and left pedal brings us back. I'll never let you go on the grass. You don't have to worry about that at all. So I'm going to let you kind of push and be as whatever until you get the hang of it. Okay, so just drift us a little to the right with just a little bit of pedal. There you go. And then just drift us a little left pedal. That'll straighten us out. Nice. Our next turn, and I'm going to help you with this, is going to be into the parking spot. Sure. So between these two airplanes. These guys. Yes. No, no, okay, not yet. So. Not yet. I got a hard pedal. Hard pedal. Nope. Not just yet. Ready? Yes. Okay, so we're going to go right heel. Nope. No toe yet. Just the heel. Now work the toe a little bit. Gentle. Good. Left pedal. 
Mantos, bring us to a stop right about uh, here. Oh, that's how you stop. <laughs> Get the hang of it? Yes. <laughs> Thank God. You're going to be exhausted. I am exhausted. Take, no. your, take your headset off. We'll uh, shut down now. We worked you today. We worked hard today.